Welcome everyone to the very first session of placement experience series. In this particular series, we are going to take candidates who are placed in different companies and they'll be sharing their interview experience as well as the whole placement experience with us as well as they'll be also giving us important insights for tracking placement in different companies. So as I am placed in Karwale company, I'll be sharing you the entire experience, the entire placement experience at the same company. First of all, let us begin with the basic procedure. Before starting with the brief procedure, I would like to thank Prince Verma sir for guiding me throughout the placement process and helping me switch my role from chemical engineer to a software development engineer. And yes, Prince Verma sir is also guiding us through WhatsApp and Discord groups. So, if you want guidance from any of your senior who is placed in a software company, then kindly join this particular Discord server. The link will be given in the description below. Also, do share this particular link with maximum of your friends to ensure more and more participation over the server. So, starting off with the process, the process of uh, the brief process of Parwale. So, first was an online test, online hacker rank test. Then we had interview round one. It was mainly based on TSA questions. Then we had interview round two, which was a kind of, we can say, database. We were asked different questions from database management systems, computer networks, and system design. And then we had interview round three, which we can say was a technical plus an HR round. So there were four rounds, online test, and three rounds of interview. So starting with online test of Carvalho. So, we had four questions in online test. First question was easy level question. Then there were two medium level questions. And then there was a hard level question. The test was the total duration of the test was two hours. And if you had done two to three questions in the test, then you are good to go in the next interview round. So, starting with the questions that were asked in online test. All the links, links of all these questions will be given in the description below. So the first question, which was the easy level question was maximize MEX of an array. Then it was, then there was a slot machine question. Again, a very famous question. Then we, we were now asked to find or write code for finding number of sub arrays with maximum, with uh, the maximum number greater than A. And then it, there was painting fence algorithm, a little bit of twist, little bit of twist in the painting fence algorithm. So there were four questions and over here, I would like to suggest you to practice more and more contests, participate in more and more contests and practice time bound questions that will help you to crack the online exams. So we had these four questions in our online test. And the candidates who were able to solve two to three questions were shortlisted in the next round. Let us now move to the interview round one. So, in the starting of the interview, I was asked to tell more about myself. Then, he started, the interviewer started with very basic questions like, what is the difference between singly and doubly linked list? What is a binary search tree, time complexity of insertion in a hash map as well as deletion in a hash map. Then the interviewer started with the first question of data structure, which was to find maximum length of a subarray whose sum is equal to zero. So first of all, I gave the brute force method and then I was told to optimize the solution where I gave the solution using hash map. So the question, this question also will be given in the description below. And then I was asked another question that is to find nth node from end of the linked list. So over here, the two pointer approach worked. And then the third question was a hard level question, which was trapping rainwater question. Again, a very famous question. So these were three questions asked in the interview where I was told to code 
optimize my code as well as find the time complexity of my solution. It lasted for around 1 hour 30 minutes and then I was shortlisted to the second round. Moving over to the interview round, over there they asked me some basic questions related to database management systems, computer networks, operating systems as well as systems design. So over there the first question, the very first question was to design a database for a blog website where we have several users and user may or may not write blogs, user may or may not comment over, over a particular blog and user may or may not like a particular blog. So I was uh, given to design the database for that particular blog and I was asked that how many tables will be needed to design that database. And afterwards, I was asked to run a simple SQL query over that database for finding number of comments of a particular blog. Then I was asked difference between SQL and my um, SQL and no SQL, that is relational database management system and non-relational database management system. Afterwards, I was asked to design a website and in that particular website if the traffic was more how to handle more and more traffic in that particular website and the answer is simple to have a load balancer and to have multiple servers and then I was asked some simple questions like what is a cache and what happens when we type the name of the website on our browser and some few basic questions on related to system designs, computer networks and database management systems. This round lasted for around 50 minutes and then I was shortlisted into the final round that was technical plus HR round. So finally sharing with you the questions that were asked in technical plus HR round. It lasted for two long hours and the first question that uh, was asked to me was design a database for the college students the design database for students of your college so this was the first question then i was asked to write the pseudocode for uh, password validation that can be easily solved using regular expressions after the password validation question i was asked some of I was asked about some of my weaknesses, some of my strengths, some of my soft skills that helped me professionally and I was also asked to justify them, justify the each and every of my skill, each and every skill related to, uh, with examples relating to my technical or professional background. Here, I also faced several questions that revolved around my project, that is, what kind of challenges I faced when I was building the project, how did I overcome the challenges and how, what were the details of all the projects. I was even asked that from a chemical engineering background, why did I switch to software development school. So if you are from a core side that is chemical, mechanical or electrical, then be prepared with this particular question. And then there were questions related to my academic, non-academic achievements and extracurricular activities. So this round lasted for two long hours and one final tip over here to go through this round or to clear this round, just be honest and revise your resume thoroughly. Here you are expected to have some justification, some valid justification of each and every point that you have written in your resume. And now moving over to the last part of this particular video that is tips and tricks to clear placements. So here are some of the tips and tricks to clear placements. First of all, I will start with ST specific tips. First tip is to participate in more and more contests and more and more hackathons that will give you a virtual environment which is very much similar to the environment, the online test environment you are going to 
play face in your placement so participate in more and more contests and yes the test which i gave was very similar to the lead code contest which also contains one easy two medium and a hard question and is of one hour 30 minutes so give more and more contests on lead code geeks for geeks hacker earth code chef coding ninjas etc the next tip will be to practice more and more time bound data structures and algorithms question and to understand the underlying pattern behind all the questions so when you solve variety of questions having different different patterns then you you get a structure in your mind that these types of questions can be solved using dynamic programming or some of the questions can be solved using a two pointer approach or a sliding window approach etc so practice more and more questions as well as try to understand the underlying pattern behind each and every question so practicing more and more questions will give you an extra edge over other candidates the next tip will be to analyze the time and space complexity of each and every question as i was many times asked in the interview what will be the time complexity and if we can optimize the code so it is very important it is not only important to have a correct solution but it is also important to give to give an optimized solution of the problem so when you when you solve a question please do check that if the code is optimized in a best way or not so these were the tips that were that were only incline, inclined towards the sde role and now some of the tips and tricks in general the first tip will be to revise your resume thoroughly because all the things will be from your resume i had i had mentioned in my resume that i have done some video lectures on sql and i have also i have also contributed my part in an sql course so i was asked more and more questions from sql so you have to be thorough with all the skills that are mentioned in your resume next tip will be that if you are asked to solve a particular question or solve a particular puzzle that seems very tough to you then don't directly give up don't directly say that sorry sir sorry ma'am i am unable to find the answer but try your best first of all try your best to find the answer and yes think loudly when you are when you are solving the problem on the paper just speak what you are doing what you are thinking about that can leave a very positive impact over the interviewer that yes even if the candidate doesn't know he or she is trying to solve the problem and that is what many companies need and a last tip that would be to get associate with a senior or somebody who is working in your dream company or working as sd or data analyst or any job role that you aspire from and take frequent guide frequent guidance from them so as prince verma sir was from a core background he went the non core background i had taken many insights from him and as a result i was able to clear this particular placement process easily so yes if you don't know an appropriate person then do join the particular discord link the discord server from the link given in the description below where prince verma sir will guide you to get placed as a software development engineer before ending i would like to give credits to all my teachers who have guided me so far and a special thanks to prince verma sir as well as edignite ngo it would have could not have been possible with all these people in my life so thank you everyone and yes here we are ending our session and let's meet in another session with one more candidate who has placed who has been placed in a company so thank you everyone